When I talk about editing cells, columns, and rows, what I'm going to show you here is how you can insert and delete columns, rows, and also a range of cells. For example, if I want to insert a column, like maybe a column before column A, just go ahead and right click on any column header, and in the shortcut menu, go down and click on Insert. It inserts a new column and it shifts everything that was in that column previously over to the next. And then what was in that one goes over to the next and so on. And so everybody gets shifted over to the next column. You can also do multiple inserts. So for example, if I want to insert three columns at once, then just go ahead and click and drag to select three columns. And then right click on any one of those column headers in the selection, like column C, right click, go down to insert and it inserts three additional columns. So I have a total of four columns that I inserted that it pushed everything over four times. And you can also delete it with the right click. So if I come up here and right click on the selection, delete, there goes the three columns. You can also do it up here on the home tab in the cells group and you've got your insert and delete. So for delete, click on the drop down arrow and you can do columns. You can also do cells, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. But right now, if I delete the columns, what columns do I have selected? Ooh, that's not good. So go ahead and click anywhere within the column, column A, to delete that column. That is, if you want to do it this way, you don't have to select the entire column. Just click within the column and then come back up here to the cells group, click on delete by column. And we're back to where we started. You can also insert and delete rows. So if I go ahead and click and drag, and I have a total of four rows selected, I can, of course, go ahead and right click to insert it or Come up here in the cells group, click on the insert drop down arrow, and say you want to insert sheet rows. So, as many as I had selected, it inserts those four additional rows and pushes everything in that selection down four. And then, of course, right click to delete. We're back to where we started. Now, another way to do this, if you're not going to be doing it by columns or rows because you don't want to shift everything over, just a range of cells. Like, for example, I want to budge this range over maybe a column or two, but I don't want to insert an entire column because maybe I have data below that also gets pushed over and I don't want to push that over just this range. Well, you can go ahead and select it and hover over the border and click and drag it over. You can do it that way or you can select the range of the rows in front of it that you want to shift over. So a total of six rows that matches what I see over to the right that I want to push over a column and right click that selection and go down to insert. And for the insert, you can shift the cells either to the right, which means when I insert these six cells, it'll take everything and shift it over once. So what's here goes over here, and what's here goes over there, and it keeps doing that all the way over to the last column in the spreadsheet. Or you get the other option, you can shift it down. So it'll shift these cells, a total of six rows, down six. And of course, you get the entire row and columns. So if I do entire row and I click okie dokie, it inserts six rows. Let's go ahead and undo that and try it again. Right click, insert, and shift them over to the right. Click okie dokie and it just shifts the range for those rows over to the right. Doesn't shift what's below it, so if I had any text below it, it stays there in column H. Just what I have selected here gets pushed over to make way for what was here that I wanted to insert, and then what was here goes over here, what was here goes over there, and so on. And by the same token, you can also go ahead and select the range if you want to pull this over. You don't want to click and drag to select it to hover over the border to click and drag it over. Because sometimes clicking and dragging is a drag, especially if you have a lot of data, when it's just easier to go ahead and select a small range and right click on it. And say to bring it over, we'll just delete the extra empty space or cell range here. And you can see that you got two options. You can shift the cells to the left, meaning that it's going to clear this out and pull this over one, and what's over here gets pulled over one, so it gets shift to the left. Or you can shift them up by deleting what's below. So if I go ahead and say shift up, it's going to take the six cells down below in that column and pull them up. And then below those six cells will be pulled up and so on, without pulling up the entire rows or deleting entire rows. And of course, you can also delete entire rows and entire columns. Now if you notice, there's a pattern here. When it comes to inserting a range of cells, it does it over to the right and down. When it comes to deleting, you get the option to shift the cells up or to the left. So think of it this way, when it comes to inserting, you've got more room over to the right and down because you have tons more columns and rows than when you start shrinking your database by pulling it in up and to the left until you get into the upper left-hand corner. So let's go ahead and go with shift cells to the left. 
So we click okie dokie, it clears that out, pulls everything over one to the left of the other one. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.